Okay, um, this uh, video is to show the uh, a test of the uh, concentricity and uh, accuracy of uh, my Vicmark lathe. So, uh, just uh, quickly, I will uh, take a look. I'm sorry it's zoomed in so far, but I wanted to be able to see the actual gauges. I'll, uh, I'll move the camera after I've done the test so you can see that it's actually on a Vic Montreal 100, not on something else. Um, okay, so I'm going to rock the camera a little bit because I want to see what I'm doing. So, okay, here we go. I'm going to start rotating the spindle. And I don't know how much you can see of the gauge is moving, but they are barely, barely moving. Um, so this is running very true, and actually, uh, you know, um, right now I'm taking a reading off of, uh, uh, this is a Be-All Collet Chuck, which I have threaded onto my inch 8 spindle on my Vicmark VL100. Um, uh, the Be-All is, is a very accurate chuck. This is actually a very good uh, endorsement of the uh, Be-All. Uh, so, here we go, okay, you can see, not moving, not moving at all, and, uh, okay, oh, by the way, uh, this is a Starrett, uh, dial indicator that is calibrated to, uh, ten thousandth of an inch, so if you see the major numbers there, those, uh, represent thousandths of an inch, and the minor marks are each a ten thousandth of an inch, so this thing is barely moving, as far as I can tell, one ten thousandth of an inch out of round, which is next to nothing. You know, I mean, this thing has a very small, uh, this one has a very small range of motion. It's only uh, a maximum range of about twenty-five thousandths of movement. Um, okay, here we have a Blake coaxial indicator, which uh, I am using to show how concentric the headstock spindle is to the tailstock bore. Let me actually, I can rotate this a little for you, and you can see a little bit better. Now that's threaded into the tailstock bore, and as you can see, that is, uh, I mean, I, I don't know if you can see it, I can see it, it's moving, but it's moving very small amount. Um, it, <laughs> not even a quarter or a half of the distance between two tick marks, which uh, the, the tick marks, uh, I believe, represent about a thousandth of an inch. Um, uh, the other thing to keep in mind is that on the Blake indicator, uh, the Blake indicator is showing how, uh, how eccentric something is, so actually whatever it's reading, whatever the, the maximum distance is between readings, uh, as a center to center difference, it would be half that. So if it was reading, you know, if it was reading ten thousandths back and forth, then you know that you'd be five thousandths off center because you're going to the maximum and the minimum, the maximum and then the minimum. So, so this is this is very much very much spot on, you know. And then this is a, uh, you know, and this again, I just you know just slid the tail talk up locked it. I didn't, I didn't hit it with hammers. I didn't, you know, adjust it until it was right. In fact, you know, if you want to, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to move it. Come back. Lift this up. Drop it in anywhere. I'll just move it around. You know, whatever. Lock it in here. Try it again. Now, you notice the needle's in a different position. You know, I'm just, uh, you know, locking the thing in. There you go. Well, now it's moving more like a thousandth. You know, you can see it. it's moving about a thousandth now. You know, so depending on the position, because you are dealing with square bedways, you got about a thousandth of movement, which equates to about half a thousandth of eccentricity. So that is, that's still within, like, you know, metal lathe range of, of accuracy. In fact, I, I believe if I just push on it to one side, here, if I unlock this and I just push it to one side, and then lock it, 
uh, which is uh, I just push it against the back side of the ways evenly. I don't, you know, not going crazy, not doing anything too, too nuts. Um, yeah, there. Now it's back to <laughs> less than a thousandth of movement. It's moving, but very slightly. So, so this is a uh, this is very accurate. This is a very accurate little wave. Um, and uh, yeah, no, very very true. I would highly recommend the uh, the Vicmark VL100 if uh, accuracy is a concern of yours. All right, well, thank you very much for watching. All right, actually, wait before I quit. Let's. Uh, here, so I can't change the focus on this when I have a uh, <laughs> when I'm shooting a video. That was just a Vicmark VL100. Okay. Cool. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed.